Hello, everyone, and welcome back. Uh, another very important concept uh, is uh, a temporary table, uh, because most of the, the solution uh, never be completed if, if we want to use the temporary table. That's how important they are. And I'm just going to show you the significant the significance of, of you know of using temporary table in your in your solution because you know sometimes we need to keep the information temporarily uh, into some container uh, so we can later uh, on process uh, that information to generate you know, uh, uh, for the for the output from 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 that temporary uh, uh, information, right? So uh, uh, in databases, we have been given local and uh, global temporary table that we can use to to keep our our information. And obviously, by looking at the name, you can see the local uh, variable, a uh, local uh, temporary table is uh, the one which is uh, only available within the within the context of the block. So if we are using the store procedure, that uh, temporary table will only available within that store uh, procedure. But if you are using the global temporary table, that uh, table will be available all across, right? So uh, the, uh, that, that, that's something uh, we we're gonna discuss into, into this video. And I'm just going to take, a, take, a, uh, take an example. So for example, you know, we want to generate a great table, right? We have a store procedure where we pass the start and end day, and that's gonna generate the, 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 the full date uh, table for, for us. So how are we gonna do it? And let's use the store procedure and temporary table to, to, to achieve that task. All right, let me first, before I can uh, uh, go and do it, let me just, you know, uh, generate the query that will produce the, the, the date information, right? So let me first show you select get date. So that will give you the trend date. And I'm going to show you how we can, you know, uh, build the, the, the date information, right? And now I just want to, so what I need, I don't want the, cost as date, All right? So you can see, I'm just doing, so that is my date. Value, All right? So that, that, that's the very first thing that I got to 20, uh, 22 dash 08 dash 09. And then what I'm going to do, and the next one, I'm going to now get the uh, date inform uh, day information, right? So we have a function given to us that is called date part, and that will provide us, you know, uh, the, the the information uh, or the part information of, of the date values. So obviously, if I want to extract the, the day, so I'm just going to, you know, put T comma, obviously, uh, and then the next one is where I want to get it. So I want to get it from, get date right so that is going to be called uh day right so day you can see is already a function so what i'll do i'll call it uh let's call it how oh, i can call it uh let me see yeah day number right so that that's a better one So you can see we are getting zero nine, right? We are getting nine, which is obviously the uh, coming out of the, the the date, right? So the next one is obviously the month. It's going to be the same. So you can see we have mm. We can use that. And we are getting the number of, of the of the day, right? So now then the, the next one is we want to extract the year. So let me just copy and paste. And by the way, I'm just going to change to month number, right? And then we have the year, right? So year. Even though you know, I, I have date, date, yeah. 
spent much number. I think that that's more clear and delete clear, right? Uh, by the way, I have to, to, to get the quarter as well. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to paste it one more time just to show you. Uh, I'm Q2, which is the quarter, and then obviously date here, right? So let's see, by the way, this is going to be 4Y, right? So that will give us the, we have a very handsome, so you can see date value, we are getting the date number, uh, 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 month number, we are getting the quarter, uh, we are getting the, the, the date here, right? So let me just copy it out, that's all I need. And now what I'm going to do, so I want to actually generate the, 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 the date information from the start and end date. Now you can see I'm just complicating it uh, in this uh, one because that one we have created previously. Now I'm going to uh, uh, complicate it a little bit, right? So what I'm going to do, we have two options. We can create a, a container and permanent container and we can dump that date or we can just you know create a temporary container or temporary table and then we can dump that value in there and we can return uh, and we can return the the data from that temporary container just like the normal container or, uh, or you can uh, say the the table right so what i'm going to do you will be surprised the syntax is exactly the same we are going to call it the TBL date, right? And I'm going to let me just paste my query in here because uh, I need to uh, get the value from here and insert into that table. So that will tell me which column I need to. So I have the date value, which is obviously int. And so that's not going to be in because it has, so that's going to be worker. And I think 20 is more than enough. I'm just going to use the date day number, which is going to be int. I'm just going to date month number, which is going to be again int. And I'm going to, is the quarter again going to be in and the last but not the least in this demo i'm going to use the date here and that's going to be in as well right so now uh, my table temporary table is ready and you can see how i create the temporary table we have to start with hash or number sign that will indicate to to the database software that this table is temporary it's not a permanent table right and it's always a good practice to to whenever you create a temporary table always put the dropped uh, table statement uh, at the end you can see as soon as i press the hash sign it automatically picks the the temporary table name because I've already placed that create statement into my string procedure. All right, so now only thing which is now remaining, I am already, and that's why I actually wrote this query in a separate window because I want to see the functionality. There are only two step I need to do to complete it. Once I need to, I need to insert into my temporary table in the same sequence that I have actually uh, create my variables because that's based on the sequence of the query. So I'm just going to create the, the, the very first is date value. And then obviously we have the date, date number, and then we have the date month number, and then we have the date quarter number. And then last but not the least, we have the date. Yeah, right. So these uh, variables, we are, uh, sorry, these attributes we are going to store the value right now the only difference uh, 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 remaining uh, in in this store procedure which i'm creating and by the way i'm just going to uh, yeah i'm going to alter the store procedure i'm not going to create the, the store procedure right uh, you know what i can do i can just create this store procedure because i don't want to uh, lose my initial version so what i'm going to do get date table right by range so that that's a better name 
so I think it's all good. The only thing which is remaining, I want to replace that get date because I'm not actually uh, uh, getting the static date. I want to now replace that date with my parameter, which I'm uh, getting from, uh, from the user as part of my store procedure parameter. So I'm going to use this, right? So let me just replace all the get date instance because these are the, the built-in function. I don't want to use it. I want to replace them with my uh, start date. And let me just replace all of them. And you can see everything looks good. So let's see. Uh, I'm just going to actually use this uh, the default dates as it is. Uh, my store procedure is ready. I'm actually uh, looping from the start date till the end date. And then one last thing before I drop my temporary table, I want to split the output from my temporary table to the user so he can see whether the table has been created or uh, containing the output or not, right? So let's see. Yeah, it's all good. We are going to now refresh. And like I mentioned, I'm going to now right click and I'm going to execute to, to new query window. And we're going to first run with the default values, right? So in order to do the default value, I'm just going to comment these two parameters because I don't need them. And I'm going to comment these for a time being. And now we are good, right? By the way, if you see these red uh, squiggly, squiggly lines, which is sometimes annoying, just press Control Shift R, and it will refresh the internal cache, and you will see the the uh, the SQL Server recognize the the uh, the newly created object, right? So now it's all good. Let me just run it. Excellent. So you can see we already have a uh, we already have a values from twenty twenty two zero one uh, zero one all the way. So let me just quickly go so you can see we have 365 because by default we are we are creating the uh, the the full year value right so you can see all the way to till the last uh, 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 day of the year which is always fourth quarter 12th 31st of december 2022 now what i'm going to do i'm now going to open the the parameters and i'm going to now and you can see, I already have seen, if not, uh, if I'm going to now add the new values, uh, no, it's not a permanent table, so we're not going to face any issue. So what I'm going to do now, again, I'm going to do the similar thing, 0, 1, 0, 1, but instead of, you know, I'm passing the, the static, I'm going to say that do from uh, from the start of this year till, till today, right? Whatever date is, uh, uh, is as of today. Let's rerun it. And now the difference is you can see the value has been dropped. So we are on the 20, 221th day of the year. And if I just scroll it down, you can see we are on 9th of August to 2022, right? So that, that, that's how we can create, uh, how we can create and use the temporary table into, into our database solution. Very, very important concept and very, very handy concept while you are building your, your database uh, uh, or data and analytics solution. Temporary table store procedure used a lot and provide you so much power to, to you know, to build these, these capabilities. Hopefully you understand the concept and you uh, uh, you will apply the, the temporary tables and, and store procedure uh, in, in your solutions as well. Uh, place any comments if you have any questions, more than happy to answer. Please like the video and I'm going to see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.